Inflation is defined as a general and sustained increase in the average price level and a fall in the purchasing power of money. Inflation reduces the value of money and savings, redistributes income and worsens export competitiveness. Jobs can also be lost and decision-making can become irrational through money illusion. Inflation can also distort the functioning of the price mechanism. Inflation can arise from excessive aggregate demands which can pull up prices. This can be caused by higher earnings, a reduction in savings, increased consumer confidence, an excessive expansion in the money supply, and a rise in asset prices, especially house prices. On the supply side, prices can rise due to an increase in wage costs, increases in oil and other commodity prices, and a weakening currency. Tighter monetary policy is often seen as the most effective way to deal with inflation. Higher interest rates work their way into the economy through the monetary transmission mechanism. An increase in the official base rate will raise interest rates throughout the economy, such as credit card and overdraft rates. Asset prices are reduced, creating a negative wealth effect, which lowers expectations and suppresses spending. Higher UK rates also raise the sterling exchange rate, which reduces aggregate demand for UK products and reduces imported cost push inflation. However, tighter monetary policy can lead to conflicts with other objectives, such as achieving economic growth and full employment. The UK's target rate for the CPI is 2%, plus or minus 1%. During 2013 and 2014, this target was met without the need to raise rates given the lack of aggregate demand and recent global recession. The Bank of England may consider raising rates if unemployment falls below 6.5%, though lower unemployment and a tighter labour market are only one indicator of inflationary pressure. To see more videos, go to www.economicsonline.co.uk